And of course, you know, this is your girl, Mary Jane Maven, and I'm welcoming you to another episode of Menage with the Mary Jane Maven. So yesterday I was, you know, sitting on the, you know, on the beaches right outside of the Golden Gate Bridge. You know, I jumped in my G5 and now I am abroad, you know, um, so I'm so silly. I'm sorry. I'm abroad. I'm abroad. That's what she said. That's what she said. What she said. Um, you guys hear the hubby over there making his jokes. Uh, so my guest co-host tonight is somebody that you guys should definitely be familiar with. Um, it's going to be like SNL pretty soon here. I'm going to have like my five-time guest club, you know, my <laughs> my guest co-host club. But Bree, my friend, my acquaintance in, in work and in, in passion and in getting that money, my cannabis sister, um, and you guys know, of course, our sponsor as well. I talk about her every week, Monthly Club co-founder, um, br brilliant young lady, um, and just an awesome chick, and we're happy to have her on tonight. So everybody, welcome, wherever you are, do your cheers or your hellos, or yes. so, <laughs> yes, and as you can see, you're in different locations. So how are you and um, hubby? How, how are you? You know, I call him hubby. How are you guys holding up in, in this, in this uh, coronation that we've all been forced to take? Uh, we're both working from home and we're in a one bedroom. So it is tight. Uh, it's very difficult to awesome. call. Because we'll, like, he'll have a conference call, I'll have a conference call. So it's a challenge to like make like because I'm talking about like weed of course I'm talking about cannabis he's talking about yes. much more professional things and like it doesn't look good if you like if his boss hears hit the bong you know what I mean <laughs> yeah yeah we're gonna make freaking gravity bongs it's gonna be awesome yeah <laughs> right it's like I'm planning the four we're gonna have 35 chokers like how many yeah. bongs are gonna be smoked like <laughs> <laughs> that's so funny that's funny so um how is it i mean you guys don't have children so i can uh if you want to see what it's like you can definitely take mine for a day um you know no so you know i wonder if you would actually if you wouldn't like it or if you would kind of fall into your teacher mode again because they're going to school distance learning right now so you know dad makes them get up put on their uniforms, at least their uniform shirts. So mm -hmm. don't have their uniform shirts on with like basketball shorts or Jack Salzman is like two short basketball, I mean, um, pajama pants that he just loves to wear. But from here up, they're in uniform. Um, mm -hmm. But oh, that means well. we're responsible for, you know, keeping their kind of schedule and making sure they get their work done. And um, yeah, it's, it, it's a vibe. It's a vibe, so yeah, be, feel blessed that all you guys have to do is try to make sure your calls aren't going on at the same time. Yeah, I, I'm definitely very fortunate. Like, I can't complain too much. I've already been working from home, so it wasn't too much of an adjustment. And, like, also, yeah. because everyone's at home, people are ordering a lot more cannabis, so also business has been a yes. lot it's been booming. So it's, it's a lot. It's yeah. been nice. I like we are getting so many awesome. orders before like dispensaries even open. I have customers like calling and being like, "Why haven't I heard from the dispensary? It's been two minutes." And it's like it's okay. Like you, it's wow. Kind of cool right now, like we need to we need to be okay. Like it's gonna take a couple minutes. It's been crazy these last few. I weeks. am thrilled for you. Well, I tell you, every um, ever since it's been happening, you know, especially the first the first week that I, I did it was actually when we found out that um, the NBA was canceling their season, and and I was like, wow, guys, you know, if we're gonna end up being at home, you know, what you should do to be able to get your medicine, get monthly, perfect. You don't have to leave the house. So every week I've been, you know, that's been my commercial is saying, you know, this is the best way for you to get in. Um, and I don't know if you've listened lately, but I have to toot my own horn. I'm getting damn good at, good at it. Like, I just bring it into the conversation. Just whatever it is. We could be talking about, we had a guest yesterday 
who I actually want to connect you with. Uh, she's the host of Highly Sexual Podcast. Um, 24 years old, young, um, Aggie. Yeah, she went to Davis. She graduated in like three years. Um, polyamorous. Um, yeah, a sex educator. Really cool girl. Really cool girl. And her podcast is all about cannabis and sex. And, and you know, and really cool. Um, yeah, and so she's looking for guests. I think you, I think you would have a good time. Um, you don't have to get on there and you know, tell all your business or anything, but being that I know you and I know that you're pretty open, you might have a good, good old time. But um, well, yeah, she's pretty cool. I end up, I forgot that I met her boyfriend when I was doing brand. I was doing a demo in a dispensary, and I forgot that that's how I met him. And she started talking about her fiance, and I'm thinking like, okay, I don't remember meeting a fiance. And then she's like, well, you actually met my boyfriend. And she goes, well, you know, I'm polyamorous. I was like, that's right. Now I remember. Now I remember. Um, and it, yeah, it was crazy. So the episode took a turn for the best, for the best. Like, I think at that point she felt more comfortable. And so we just started talking about everything. It was really cool. That's awesome. But, um, so yeah, so that, that was really cool. But, um, so yeah, so what we are, you know, we, this is just like our little update guys. Um, you know, I talk to Bree probably at least three times a week, but you know, I wanted her to be able to come on and, share a bit about what we're doing together. Um, I keep looking down here, I need to look here. Um, what we're doing together as far as our Create and Elevate, what um, monthly and daily, what they have going on, um, what events you are doing, you know, to try to bridge the gap between your subscribers and, you know, the real world, even though we, I mean, we are definitely detached from the real world right now. Um, and just try to catch up a little bit. I want to talk to her about a couple of things that I've been talking about lately. And then, you know, I am not going to keep her on all night. I promise, guys, it's going to be a little shorter episode. But this is just a little update. So what we'll do is, as you guys can see, I've already, you know, started the spark, sparktation. So I do want to, I have a quote for this evening. Um, and it's actually one that was shared with me by Lisi B. If you guys remember Lisi B, she comes in, you know, she is a busy, busy young woman, but she's here once a month or she, you know, she joins the podcast once a month. Probably needs to actually get her on in the next couple of days because it's been a bit minute since she's been on. Have her come in and talk about the equity program and what she has going on. I know she's uh, just submitted a business plan. I know she's going for a cool quarter of a hundred thousand dollar grant right now. So let's keep her fingers crossed for her there. But, um, so, sorry, I'm microphoning it over here. So this quote is about the quarantine. Quarantine quote, quote of the day. With a new day comes new strengths and new thoughts. Which is absolutely correct and absolutely true. Um, I have a funny one that I'm going to share. Let me just find it. But, um, what have you... What have you found that's been a plus about this quarantine time? Um, has there been anything that you can, you know, identify as being something that's been a positive to come out of it? Oh, absolutely. Um, I enjoy that, like, Luke and I, or my, my partner and I, I'm not supposed to say his name, <laughs> my partner. Yes. Uh, we, <laughs> oh, no way, I can say so. oh, whatever. My partner and I, we uh, enjoy our, like, our time together. I don't know, it's been nice. We um, yeah. get to spend more time together. We've been playing a lot of games. We've, um, I've learned how to play the Xbox. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm the very Xbox? That is so cute that you think like that. <laughs> the Xbox. I don't know about, like, it's games. just the Xbox. <laughs> That's just funny. It sounds like how, uh, like, my mom would say the Twitter. Yeah. You on the Twitter? Like, the Twitter. The Twitter. Twitter. <laughs> um, but, um, what games have you learned to play? Um, I learned how to play the UFC, like, wrestling one. I'm terrible, but, like, okay. I'm into pressing all the buttons. <laughs> and then, um, yeah. <laughs> I, so, like, growing up, we had Mario Kart. I didn't know Xbox didn't have Mario Kart. So uh, we got like this NASCAR car racing one, so I can like race him. I again, I just keep running yeah. in the walls. I don't understand how to drive a car. <laughs> I'm so not good at the, 
I'm so not good. Like if it's in an arcade and I'm like sitting behind the wheel, then I'm I'm cake. Like I'm good. But if it's literally, you know, a game like that, I spend more time designing my car than I do actually trying to race and like finish the race um, or choosing which like land we're gonna go through. Um, but speaking of Mario Kart, the hubby, the hubby, the hubby just found out last night that there is a Mario Kart app where you pay, you play against other players, just like the regular game. So we have to get it. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I know, right? Mind blown. But I've also we just been, found out about it last night. So. Um, what's been great about quarantine is I've been knitting, so I'm working on like this tank top, which I'm kind of excited about. I like tried making a sweater last, Ooh. and like one sleeve was much tighter than the other, and I like couldn't get my arm in it. So I'm hoping the tank top <laughs> works out better. <laughs> works a little better. Something with no sleeves, it should, it should yes. work better. <laughs> hey, I actually, I'm gonna have to show you. I have a really cute knitted outfit that I got from um, Cozumel. Ooh. And it's it's like a, it's like a crop top, bra top, and shorts. Mm -hmm. So I'll send you a picture of it. Um, you know, depending on how good you get, maybe you'll be knitting me a bathing suit. I don't know. Maybe. I could try. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, please, can I knit you a bathing suit? <laughs> So that's awesome. So how are the parents doing? How are they, you know, uh, dealing with, with the coronation? My parents, so my parents are in their mid-60s, so they are the people that are at risk, and they are having a very hard time accepting yeah. that they are at risk. Um, they don't see a need for oh. the mask. They, like, they're taking it more seriously. Like, they are taking it seriously. They just don't believe yeah. they're the ones at risk. <laughs> and it's like, no, you, you Look, are. I, I don't blame them. Like, yeah, I don't blame them. It's like, what, just because my age, I'm freaking at risk. Like, I could, you know, they could feel just as healthy as I'll get out and everything. But it's just because, you know, their respiratory system is just, I'm not going to say older, but just more wise. Yeah. It's just been around for a little bit longer. Um, my parents as well. And it really sucks. Yeah, yeah. My mom, well, my mom's prone to um, getting bronchitis every year, so mm -hmm. that puts her automatically in that. Um, and then I was telling you my dad's health issues, you know, that automatically puts you in it. You just had pneumonia. Um, so it's kind of scary because my dad is used to working, and he got laid off unexpectedly. So he's going stir-freaking crazy being at home because my dad is a worker. Like, he, you have to do that. So it it kind of it kind of sucks like being in this aspect of life where like you have to worry about your parents and you're having to you know tell them no and yes and this is what you need to do and stuff and when you don't see them as being that age yet you know needing that yet so that's a little weird you know that's something that I would say that the quarantine has brought up that is not I'm not gonna say it's unpleasant but it's just not something that I'm like. I'm not really ready to deal with that, you know. Um, and thank the universe, thank God, everybody that I know is safe and healthy. I'd love to keep it that way. You know, we have no problem staying our asses in the house. I don't understand why people have such a hard time with it, but I don't want the Rona. So it's, yeah, it's pretty crazy, but um, it's, it's definitely looking into. Um, Improving yourself, I feel, is something that all people should take away from this time. Um, read a book. Like, I'm telling everybody, if you haven't read The Alchemist, read it. Like, a great time to read it. Come out of this with maybe a clear vision of what your purpose is, you know, or what the next plan is. I feel like we should all come out of this with, like, a game plan as to what, you know, what the next steps are. Um, because this shit came out of nowhere, you know, so. Not really. Four um, years ago. True. Well, true. True. Trump knew about it. He just tried to, you know, act like he didn't. Yeah. Um, it's just been interesting seeing how people are yeah. reacting to it. I've been, like, seeing a lot of people misunderstanding the purpose of, like, staying at home. Like, a lot of people are yeah. believing that, like, their religious rights are, like, being taken away. Like, certain rights are being taken away. And it's like, no. That? We're just, we're just trying to... I'm just like, gosh. 
dang. Just well, my thing is, you know, I don't, I don't claim to know the Bible back and front, but I'm pretty sure there's something in there that says that you can worship and, and praise and do that anywhere. You don't need to be in the same building, you know, and things like that. So that's astonishing me that these, you know, pastors are just, no, it should be essential. Well, shoulda, coulda, woulda, woulda. Like if it was a fifth, we'd all be, well, it's not. So get on Zoom, give your little speech, like, you know, and I don't, I don't want to sound disrespectful, but it's to that point where it's like, are you joking? How many more people from a, a church or from a organization gathering like that has to get sick and pass away before you guys go, ah, okay. Yeah. Halt. You know? Um, I just like wish like people I, understood. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't. I don't. Oh, I would, I just like wish people understood that like, if you can do it from home, then like, just do it from home. Like you can have your service at home. You can like do, you can work out from home. Like look at how many people are like doing like live stream with like with workouts and everything. Like right. can do it from home. And that's so, what like, I love is that people are becoming very, yeah, very um, crafty. You know, people are really utilizing, this is when technology is great because people are utilizing technology to be able to keep in tune with each other. But give people a reprieve, you know. Um, I mean, kind of back to that point, Bible study takes place in homes. You know, like, it doesn't take anything. They used to always do the, radio, uh, the service over the radio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, service used to be over the radio. So do that, you know, have everybody call in to a freaking number. Like, I just, it's, it's the solutions are very easy. Um, I know that when I saw all of the kids on, you know, at spring break, I immediately picked up the phone and called my son and I was like, where the hell are you at? And you better not, you better not. He's like, oh no, mom, this is serious. So I'm like, okay, good. Um, even though he's been in LA with his girlfriend for like three weeks now. But hey, you know, you know how that is. They're in each other's face. I don't think they're, you don't have to worry about social distancing. They're at that, you know, that age where that's really easy to do. Uh, <laughs> so, um, I know the thing that really infuriate, infuriated us was, and we joked about it at the beginning, was that a lot of people couldn't get it. Come on, guys. Like, let's all use some common sense. It, this isn't malaria or whatever it is that we, you know. A lot of people can get malaria. True. What is that we're not supposed to be able to get? If you have sickle cell, you can't get malaria. And a lot of black people have sickle cell or sickle cell trait. But black people could get malaria. Okay. Well, yeah. So, or, okay. Black people don't commonly get lice. Let's just use that as, a, as an example. So that's, that's a fact. That's something that we know because of what we put in our hair. Great. You don't see too many people. The, the lice breakout doesn't start with the black kid in school. But we, we're very strong and we're resilient and we've come through a lot. And we've come, you know, we've overcome a lot. But, you know, a virus, a virus isn't going, oh, wait, I'm going to skip over. That's, that's, that's. That's Tiffany, I'm going to skip over, you know, or that's, that's Jerome, I'm going to skip over that. That's LeBron, I'm not, I'm going to skip, we skip over here to Katie. Like, that's just not what viruses do, guys. So yeah. that was infuriating to see that. And then it kind of, you know, died out. But then people started really honing on to the fact that it was a joke, that it was the government, that they were bamboozling us, that it wasn't real. And I said, why would the why would the government shut down the entire country? Did, like, give me a reason that makes some type of sense and I will go ahead and agree with you and say you have your right to your opinion. But your opinion is malarkey. Like, you know, it's, we have too much access to information to say the stupid things that are being said and for people to believe the things that they're believing. You know? Um, so yeah, it's, I, I definitely think that a lesson in this is get your information, I was about to say something, get your information, but make sure when you get your information, it's, it's a viable source. Yeah. You know, it's not, um, what is it, subjective? Objective. Subjective. Subjective. Yeah. Um, like Vice News. I love Vice News. I love, 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 love Vice News. They tell it like it is. Oh, shit. It may seem like they don't like Trump, but that's not what it is. They're just showing how much of a liar he is and how much, you know. 
how he's not a leader. Um, but I like that they are, um, they're responsible with their reporting. Um, each, I feel like each story that I watch, it leaves you with the ability to make a decision on what you thought about it. You're not being force fed what you should think about that piece or what you should think about that situation. It leaves you thinking. Um, I know that's at least for myself. So that's just some things that I've talked about over the past couple of weeks, like just some Mary Jane Maven says tidbits, you know, some, some Mary Jane Maven, you know, I don't know what, what, what's another M word that goes with that, you know, I like to keep everything little. Um, Mary Jane Maven minute of, yeah, messages. There we go. Yes. Um, that's some good weed because I am lit right now. <laughs> so yes. Okay, really, so um Oh, I was just oh, saying I really enjoy um, It's just weird because it's so bad, so Yes, I know. Um no, I really enjoy the like European like news like like BBC and stuff like that because they don't they don't have a political agenda. Um, so they're just telling it how it is. But so, well, they like do like to make fun of Americans and just kind of like make fun of like what's going on. They really on. do. But like, but at they the end of the really day, do. Just, like, this is what's going on. Like, look at like, look how like messed up America is right now. <laughs> I mean, we literally can't be mad at any other country thinking we're a joke. Like, seriously. Um, you know, I would love to hear from um, oh, our newest subscriber, Dublin, Ireland. She's super Ooh. excited. So those of you in Dublin, those of you in France, drop me a line. I would love to know what overall, you know, you, your, your region, your country, you know, your city, what you guys think of America. You know, um, be kind. Uh, <laughs> no, but like, we, we have to look like we are punking ourselves like we we have to um as far as like who our government is and our you know and you know some of the crazy things that happen in our pop culture although their pop culture is pretty damn crazy i don't know if you watch big brother uk but shit i don't that tops big brother out here by like leaps and bounds like their reality tv is nuts um so you can make fun too but it's uh it's warranted right now. Like it, it definitely is. So it's going to be interesting over the next few months, especially now that, you know, it's decided who the, you know, who's running against Trump. Um, it's going to be very interesting. I'm, I'm missing Saturday Night Live right now. Cause they would have a lot of good material. Yeah. A lot. So yeah, it's crazy. But um, one more political thing. I just, I have to say, um, I wanted to get your opinion on, I don't know if you're following a lot on Governor Newsom and what he's doing, you know, for the state. I mean, you kind of have to being that you're living here, being that you have lived in other, you know, regions and other countries. Um, how do, in your opinion, how does he fare, you know, um, or stack up as, as, as a governor? Um, in my opinion, I think he's doing a great job. I think he is being a fantastic leader, and I don't think that a governor could do anything better than what he's doing. I would love for him to get some sleep because every day that I look at him, I'm like, you have not slept in days. Um, but I think he's doing great. So just kind of want to know what, how do you feel about him, if, if that's something you even follow or interested yeah. in. Or No, absolutely. Um, so like compared to Canada, um, this is more federally based though. Um, they like are all receiving checks every single month. Um, because of like Canada's healthcare system, people don't have to worry. Um, there's a lot more luxuries of living in Canada right now. A lot more precautions were put in place beforehand before we started doing anything. So they were more on top of it. Um, compared okay. to people that I know in Chicago, people I know in Detroit, California is definitely ahead of the curve. Like Illinois and Detroit, I yeah. believe they're still telling everyone that they're going to go back to school, back to work May 1st. And yeah. it, like, like, yeah. I'm sorry, yeah, they like, California is like not going back. Sad. Like, they're not going back. They're going to get, they're going to get hit last. Like I, I'm, I have a feeling like when everybody's kind of over the hump and we're slowly getting back to our lives, 
everything's going to come to a halt again because I think, and I hope not, but it's just by the way that the models are going and, you know, we got to we gotta kind of base it off of common sense and how everything's been going, that they'll get hit the hardest. And because they're so um, condensed, you know, they're not condensed as far as a lot of people, but they're condensed as far as like the rural aspect of it. So, you know, there's little pockets here and pockets here. And so it's going to take a little bit longer, you know, and there's probably going to be, you know, a, a flare up of like a lot of epicenters, um, you know, in the Midwest and stuff. And they're already seeing in Detroit, you know, that's what, you know, really bad. They, they're starting to be hit. Um, New Orleans, you know, another place. So it's pretty scary. Um, I don't pretty know if scary, you've gone to shopping. And, and I think both do great jobs. I don't know if you've gone grocery shopping lately, um, but like I have to go for my parents and like I've talked to my friends in Chicago and my friends in Detroit and their experience to them, it's essentially like the same, like nothing really has changed. People are like social distancing, of course, but there's not really many changes at the stores. And I was shocked because every grocery store I've gone into, they all have plexiglass between the cashier and the um, customer, they all have plexiglass all of a sudden. Now, all of a sudden, no one will touch the key yeah, register. Yeah, yeah. Where to stand. Yeah. Um, and people need that when they stand. I, I mean, let, let's just take the corona out of it. Why, when you stand in line, do people feel the need to stand this close? And then yes. when you step up, they step up. Like, this is not what, what yes. I cannot. And I, you know, at first, I'm like, you know, and just kind of look back and then do it again. I'm like, what? Back? The, uh, are you paying for my groceries? Because if you're paying for my groceries, come right on. Yeah. Doesn't that back up? Um, I don't. So I don't. I just don't see how people are still so self-absorbed that they're still not standing. You know, the recommended distance apart. Like, there's people. There was somebody the other day, and we were like, "The X is right here, sir. Like, what? Right, right here. Right. Stand right there. Like, yeah." The most annoying thing thing. Um, is that everyone that's wearing a mask right now, I've noticed at the grocery store, they're not practicing social distancing. Like everyone that was wearing a mask, all of a sudden, like they can get close to you. And it's like, no, that's not how it works. Yes. Social distancing yes. and the mask. It's both. <laughs> like you have to practice. Yes, we were both. And I think the hubby almost had a, like a panic attack. Like he was like, there's way too many people in here. They were, I was on the aisle getting pasta, and I'm telling you, at least four people reached over me, and I was like, dude, like, are you serious right now? It's like everybody was in their own world and just did not realize how close you were becoming to people, you know? And he was like, I'm going outside. He's like, you can stand in line. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and go to the car. Like, he really couldn't handle it because there was just so many people in there and people that were not, you know, like, we wear gloves. Um, <laughs> it's very, I feel very odd getting ready to go into a store because I put on my freaking handkerchief, bandana, yep. put on my gloves. I'm like, I really feel like we're, like we're Bonnie and Clyde. Like, we're about to go in here. <laughs> I love it because they look at us every time, too. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yes, true. And they do look at us, but what are they going to say? Because this is our normal right now, guys. So, but, um, yeah, I... It's just amazing. Every time I talk about it and verbalize it, it's like, whoa, okay, guys, we're, we're extras in a movie right now. Like, this is totally what we've seen in movies, and we're living it. Like, it's, it's pretty nuts. But it's also pretty simple, guys. Wash your nasty-ass hands. Learn how to cough. Learn how to sneeze. Social distance. Um not be nasty i mean i'm just gonna keep going back to that like not be nasty is like number one okay did you um, see how many people are like little kids. arrested for licking things at the grocery store have you seen that it's disgusting yes. mm -hmm. so oh, did you see like in the first couple of weeks when we got the first um you know recommended just to stay close to home not actually stay at home but there were freaking kids influencers licking um toilets public toilets there was one kid who went into the bathroom right in the airport pulled up the toilet seat licked it and was like corona get me bitch guess what two weeks later guess what he had mm -hmm. hepatitis c <laughs> <Right? Okay. laughs> 
Like, oh shit. I mean, the brother. On top of that. Um, oh, guys, it is not that serious. Please, somebody give people like that a hug. Give no, them like, a hug you... and tell them they are worthy. Have you seen people like sneezing on stuff and licking stuff at grocery stores? Yeah. And people that like Who's are like lady? going up to cashiers. She's done seven thousand dollars worth of food at Walmart. Yeah. Sure about that? Yeah. So eighty-seven man, she would be underneath the jail right now. Like, what the? What, what is wrong? Did you have eighty-seven thousand dollars and you were like calling dibs? Because if not, like, what the hell are you doing? Um, I mean. I did an episode and I said, why are you, why are you guys buying up all the toilet paper? What you trying to do, build a clubhouse? Like, I still don't understand why people are buying toilet paper in bulk. Like, I just, I still don't get it. That very first time, right? We, no. Yeah, we, literally, we had three, four packs. We, we still have two rolls and we have three men and me in this house. Like, people that go poop a lot. And, yeah. <laughs> Well, sorry, one man and two boys, sorry, in this house. Either way, um, the species that goes poop the most, they're here, and we have not ran out. And if we did, and we couldn't get any, hop your butt in the shower, rinse that bad boy out, and go on about your business. Like, I, I don't understand the hoarding of the disinfectant. I have not been able to find any alcohol bleach in the last week i haven't been able to find bleach um we're running out of hand sanitizer i've been out of lysol can't find any the dollar tree hoards it like they're like we need it for the check stands and i'm like how many do you need for the check stands like i almost really just took one from the check stand the other day yeah. and just like threw a dollar on the counter and ran out like I almost did. um so it i will say that a positive thing about it is you know, I've told you before that I really want to be more holistic and use more natural, you know, items for cleaning and things like that. So that's actually led me to have to be really, you know, kind of creative and crafty and how am I going to disinfect, you know, with just this much amount of bleach for how long, you know, um, you know, can't make more hand sanitizer, can't buy anymore. So, you know, I'm learning about hydrogen, perox hydrogen peroxide and how you can utilize that as well. You know, you still need to wash well and everything, but it's great disinfectant and things like that. So, um, essential oils, they do everything. Like, some essential oils, vodka or and like vinegar and um, like baking soda. I mean, great. Um, so, that's a positive. That's another positive. It's, you know. Yeah. It's, it's requiring me to be resourceful, which I like to do. It is one of my strengths being resourceful, so I'll, I'll take that. But um, so speaking of being resourceful, you know, we were going to have a very cool event um, for our Create and Elevate, which is part of the reason why you were on this evening. Um, and we, you know, we wanted to be able to still provide that opportunity for, you know, um, our, our guests to Create and Elevate. Um, and so what we're doing is doing something really fun for 420 and we are going to be having a all day event. Um, it's going to be a virtual event. So we're going to be together, but we're going to be together through our cameras. Um, the way to reach out and touch someone nowadays. So we want to, um, share a little bit more about it. We kind of had another idea. I called her one day and she was like, scrap it. We're doing this. I'm like, Genius. So, why don't you share a little bit about what um, what we're going to be doing and what people can look forward to, and um, you guys can start getting information in the next couple of days about you know joining us and, and how to take part. Yes. So on four twenty, um, we were going to do a a whole murder mystery party, and we were planning it for quite some time. So we're trying to come up with something equally as awesome something that we can do all day um the whole idea is you can drop in drop out you can join whenever you want but uh we're gonna start with some yoga we're going to then do some crafting we're gonna learn how to do origami with rolling paper and then from there we're gonna do some drawing we're gonna have a workout class to like stretch and like you know get our muscles moving because a lot of us have been sitting on the couch um and then we're gonna have some cooking oh. 
questions. We're going to have a smoke sesh. We're going to learn how to make water bongs. Um, we're pretty excited about the whole day. We're going to have a music hour, hopefully. And then we're probably going to end the night with a karaoke sing-off, you know, like a lip singing sing-off. So I'm very excited. Yes, I'm really excited. I'm really excited about everything that we're doing for the day. Um, it's going to be a really good way. You know, we all can't, we can't be at Ricky Hill. We can't be at, you know, um, I know, right? Emerald Cup or anything else that would go on, you know, another trade show or, you know, expo that would be going on, you know, um, going to the storefronts, which you still won't be able to do, but going to the storefronts and hanging out, maybe going to a farmer's market, getting some free dabs, not going to be able to do that. So, Let's go ahead and still reach out and be that community that we can be. Um, we can do it, you know, with, with the technology that we have, you know, given to us. So we are going to be um, also doing a little, we're going to be taping a podcast. We're going to be taping a Menage with Mary Jane Maven kind of episode. So you all are going to be able to have part in the episode. So we're going to be having a nice little sesh. Um, we're going to have some trivia. Um, we're also very excited about the lip sync battle. So, you know, um, within your home, we are going to um, expect you guys to go all out. You know, get the outfits together, you know, get the routines together, get the choreography, you know, whatever it is, show up, show out. Um, we're going to be putting together a list of songs for uh, you all to choose from. And I think what will be good is once we get down to maybe like the last two, they can have a choice of song that they want to perform. So, you know, through maybe like the first round, or the, you know, first two rounds, you have to choose from the list of songs that we're going to provide, which are all going to be, of course, 420 based in some way, you know, based on the beautiful plants. And then for, like I said, the finale, so whoever the last two contestants are, last two groups, you guys will be able to bring that fire and come with whatever uh, song of your choice. So we'll have a, you know, some awesome rewards for that, as well as some bragging rights. It's going to be good to, you know, brag a little bit. Um, and this is something that I definitely know that I want to do next year in person and on a broader scale. So you'll be kind of carrying that title until somebody tries to come snatch it from you, um, whether it be in a month or whether it be in a year. So we definitely are excited to have you guys, you know, come out come out um, as far as, you know, sit in your living room and join us. Um, it's going to be all day from 10, 11 to 8. Yes. Yes. So 11 to 8. Um, so, yeah, you guys have plenty of time to, you know, maybe after your edible sesh, take a nap um, and then come back and we'll be there for you with something new. Um, lots of crafts, lots of fun things for you to do. And, you know, I definitely wanted to share as well, if you guys have attended one of our, our classes, if you were interested in attending one of our classes um, or one of our workshops, um, and you're interested in maybe getting one of our recipes or you wanted to maybe do like a virtual um, session with Bree and I, we'd love to do that um, and kind of go over you know, infuse, um, scrubs, um, intimacy oil, massage oil. I have been gifted some uh, trim, so I have been processing that. I've had a few, uh, few errors. I had some butter that didn't quite, quite turn over to butter. Um, <laughs> like some flakes of butter. Um, I have like three huge mason jars of, I have one for you, of uh, coconut oil, mm -hmm. infused coconut oil. Yes, I actually cooked dinner with it tonight, so a little bit of that. Um, so yeah, I'm going to, I think I'm going to probably take some of that and make some tinctures or something like that. Mm -hmm. But so if you guys are interested in some other create and elevate type events um, after this event, you know, it looks like we're going to probably be in this situation for maybe another month, guys. So um, you know, let, let us work together. And uh, the Instagram will be up soon. I'm actually switching another Instagram over to Create and Elevate. So you guys will be able to follow that and um, have another way to get in contact with this other than through my Instagram or through um, Monthly. So we are super excited about that. I know that um, we're going to try to keep them coming. We're going to yeah. try as, as, you know, as much as possible. We're going to try to keep the events coming. Um, I'm super excited, though, for when we get out of this, because I really want to do that mystery dinner 
Damn, Me mystery too. theater. Like, I do also want to so shout out to all the brands and all of the businesses that are working with us for the 420 virtual event. Um, Realize CBD yes. is helping us tremendously <laughs> and helping with graphics. They are doing, they're going to do a great segment with how to make snacks with their CBD mix. I'm so pumped. Awesome. He's going to be doing a awesome. really cool. class. Um, and we're going to have Del Greta do her artwork. She has a great collection. Um, so she's going to oh. teach everyone how to draw. Awesome. Right now, fitness is going to be the one teaching the workout class. Um, I know that we have Chaz off, um, what is this company again? Beats. On Beats. On Beats Streets. On Beats Streets. Shout out, On Beats Streets. I know that he's yes. potentially going to um, hang out with us too during our smoke sesh. So we have a lot yes. of great companies that and are partnering with us. Yeah, possibly uh, Can Calidocan. you go uh, Yeah. Yeah, popcorn celebrity. Um, if he's not able to make it, I believe he says he's gonna provide some popcorn, and I can kind of, you know, talk about it, highlight it, give some people some information about his product. He is delivering, um, and he's, you know, he's minding the delivery rules and things like that. Um, but you guys, this is if you're at home, wow, you definitely need some of this popcorn. Like, you need some of the CBD powder from Realize. You need some popcorn. You maybe need, you know, some tacos from a new kitchen who's also uh, going to be, you know, making some treats for us as well, making good vittles. I'm going to see, you know, what he's going to be whipping together. Um, he always has something fantastic that he's, you know, concocting. So, um, yeah, I, I definitely want to give a huge shout out and thank you um, to all the vendors that are participating in this as well. Um, you know, like I said, it's a community and we're all, you know, I feel so cliche because this is like the same we're all in this together, but we really are. Um, and even within the Canvas community, we're in it together. This is the holiday that we're not getting to celebrate, and especially because it's the entire month is 420. Yes. Like, we should be going in the entire month, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, first, the Rona took my birthday. Now it's taking 420. The hubby's birthday is at the end of the month. You know? It's having to turn up other ways. Sunday, live on Ronica. Yes, yes, I will introduce that. So um, before we wrap up today, because I think that we, you know, kind of caught up well here. I know that you said things are going well for Month Leaf and Daily Leaf, but any updates, any news on CBD um, products coming out or anything you want to share? Or um, Sorry, let me put this out real quick. Um, no, no, it's okay. <laughs> I'm just trying to put out the blood. A little smoke got in my eye there. Um, I'm just a hot mess. You'll so right never be late for, yeah. yeah. Uh, right now, we're um, getting ready to launch our new site um, because everything that's been happening, it the CBD has become a back burner because we're handling just so many new customers. We're doing... Um, yeah. We're just bringing on new dispensaries right now, so we're expanding. So unfortunately, the I CBD is, I know, it's a good thing, but unfortunately, the CBD has had yeah. to take out of the back burner. So our first project is to launch the new websites for monthly and daily. Um, and then from there, we're going to go um, through with launching our hemp brands. So I'm very excited. Fantastic. Oh, I'm super excited too, guys. Where do you look? I keep telling her, as long as I'm done, I'm like, when this happens, we're going to throw an event, okay? And especially after being cooped up. Like, this might, you know, this might turn out to be, like, crazy, crazy event. No. Um, but I think that's awesome. Congratulations. I did want to ask, um, what areas, you know, just to let people know, and if, you know, since your business is staying busy, have you been able to expand the areas that you deliver? Um, and if so share those and then just share what areas you are currently in or where, where you can deliver. So we can deliver in all of Sacramento, all of the surrounding areas of Sacramento. So all of like the suburbs. Um, we also can deliver in San Francisco, Oakland, Berkeley, um, and then all the way down the Bay Area to San Jose. So we have quite a large delivery. Oh, great. So East Bay as well? No. So East Bay? 
Oh, so just the, okay. Okay, so Oakland over. Yes. Pretty much. Oh, okay. Um, well, man, we need to get you a needs bay as well. So you can deliver it to my grandmother and my mother. Absolutely. It's out there. So, yes. Well, I am so happy that things are going well. I'm happy that you are both staying healthy and safe and that you guys are getting to spend some QT time together, you know? Yes. Uh, don't come out of this with a corona, baby. You know, because there's going to be a whole generation. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, get away. Get away. Don't sleep. No. I have a That's funny. Yeah. I, 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 <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. Over here, no chance of it happening. So I don't have to worry about that. Um, yeah. So I want to thank you so much for joining us again. It's always good talking to you. It's, of course, great seeing your beautiful face. It's so good to hear that things are going well. And I'm so excited that we are collaborating and we're still able to provide these Create and Elevate events for individuals. Um, I did want to let everybody know that I am going to be on a another podcast. And it's going to be Sunday. It's Raw and Uncut Live. Um, and it's so you can find it on YouTube, find his Instagram as well. He was a guest on the podcast probably about a month ago now. Um, and man, we got some stuff to talk about because he's been trying it with his guests and his opinions this week. So I am just, I have a book, my book right here, things to go and talk to him about. So if you guys want to be entertained and see a little different side of uh, Mary Jane, you want to go ahead and join that. But I do want to give a, a huge thank you to my good friend, the Menage with the Mary Jane podcast sponsor, um, as well as our other sponsors, Anchor FM, and our newest sponsors, Love Sense, and of course, our CBD Homes Organics, and one of our newest sponsors as well, Greenwood District, which is an awesome clothing line. Um, you guys, please go ahead and check out my clothing line, my merchandise. Remember, if you are listening from France, if you're listening from the new area, Dublin, um, actually, if you're international, but especially France, please hit me up on Instagram, the YouTube, link in the bio, Twitter, link in the bio. Played on the episode. Yeah, um, let me know where you're from, how long you've been listening. Um, we want to get you guys some merch. Um, you'll be the first, actually, to be gifted some merch. I think it'd be pretty dope to have pictures sent to me with people wearing a merch in France. I mean, I know, right? So crazy. So I'm an Aries, so that's pretty damn dope to me, guys. Um, so yeah, so of course, you know where you can find my girl, because I say it every week, but at monthlyclub.com um, or at monthlyclub on IG. You can always find her through me. And then, of course, keep an eye out for the Create and Elevate page. If you already follow the Colors of Cannabis, you're already going to be following that, okay? Um, but when you guys start to see that, go ahead and follow that as well so that you can stay updated on information about our events. Um, and we're going to start taking submissions. So I think we're probably maybe going to take five or six maybe groups for the Lipstick Battle. Yeah, so absolutely. you guys keep an eye out as well. Yeah, keep an eye out um, on IG. I'll probably make a couple more videos, making some announcements to remind you guys of it. We want to see you guys bring it, okay? Um, get your outfits together, you know. Hey, bring it. Like, I yeah. want my mouth to my jaw to drop, okay? Um, yeah, so we're looking to have a good time. Yeah, we're looking to have a really good time. So I'm going to give you the, the elbows, even though we'll give you the elbows. We can't hug. <laughs> so we'll be talking soon. Oh, shoot. I'm not going to my light. We'll be talking soon, hon. Thank you so much for joining again. And you guys, like I said, you know where to follow us and where to find us. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. Thank you for Have having a good me. night, honey. Have a good night. Thank you. All right, you too. Bye-bye. Bye, guys. <laughs>